Want to help support the channel? Then why not check out the merch that's available from the links below in the description. Help out the channel and get more phenomenal stuff for yourself. And now with that, let's jump straight into the video. Hey Ranger Nation, welcome back to another video. And today we have the lovely Andros from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection range, this or otherwise known as Bathrobe Andros. Uh, I wanna say a big thank you to my friend Lawrence for sending this over to me. Uh, it's For some strange reason, this hasn't come out over in the UK yet. Uh, so I don't know why they haven't, like no other website that I have seen uh, actually has this. So I want to say a big thank you to him for sending this over. This is quite a nice figure from the look of it. Um, I, when seeing it at Hasbro Pulse, I was like, I need this Ranger because he looks really cool just by like, you know, having the helmet on and being like stealth mode. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice figure from what we see. So obviously we have a lovely picture of Andros. Then we have Andros there. On the back, we have Andros again. There he is there, top is black, bottom is just the barcode. So let's open up this bad boy and have a look inside. But if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. And with that, let's jump straight into it. Here is everything that you get in the box. You get lightning effect, lightning effect, astro blaster, spiral saber, normal helmet, and then two hands, which apparently they've got sellotape over one of them. I have no idea, but he has like an incredibly long finger, which looks a bit weird, but let's have a look at the figure. When I look at him, I generally think Jedi, mainly more than like any other figure and stuff like that. So it feels like this is the Jedi version. Um, so it's finally got there. I, I don't know why we have this version of Andros, but we do so you can move down and or you can drop that if you want to which then brings a different head i think this is a different one that they've done where you can see he looks pretty fine you've got the hair all about which is fine um you can take the entire robe off which we'll have a look at briefly but you know it kind of covers up there's not a lot to um this entire figure it is mainly just here is a bathrobe here is this here is his head and then the entire body is pretty much so if you took off the how like the way you can do doesn't really I'm not going to really go too much into detail because it's a pretty much the same basic figure. It is literally head. You've got some gold. You've got the uh, belt buckle there. You've got nothing on the boots or anything like that. On the back is exactly the same, and you know there's not much that you can really do with this figure at all. So you know, let's have a look at the articulation. Um, yeah, let's just jump straight to that one. Looking at the figure, it, it is pretty basic. I mean, the feet go up and up like so. It does kind of bend, you know, if you want to, but it does feel like, I never understand. It just feels really fucking weird just to try and bend the leg. I, like I don't want to effectively break it um so we're not going to do that one unfortunately um i don't want to break the figure as much as you know if you want to see the knee but if you've got your own figure have a look so legs are quite stiff around here chest is fine hand turn around like so and turn around like so so you can it just looks like he's dark he's like luke skywalker He's about to go and uh, kind of like <laughs> kill people. Uh, head does turn all the way around. And there we go. Let's try the uh, taking the head off and the helmet. I always hate doing this because after the Draken Fanasco, I generally don't want the thing to break. It takes a while to kind of put on, but I like it because it feels like a special ops um in space range i really do like this um but obviously you can't really see much of the detail let alone in the visor hell i can't even tell if it's going to be in focus but you can put on obviously if you want to put his <laughs> his dressing gown on like so and just kind of help him into it so weird dressing him you know it kind of adds a bit like that but again like it's so it's so weird 
but it does look kind of cool. Now, I don't really remember this. I just remember Andros wearing this in the first episode. It's just kind of weird to have like this one. So I don't know if there's another episode of In Space where he's completely dressed like this. If there is, let me know down below. Or if this was just literally inspired by the comics. But, you know, it kind of looks really cool, like menacing. If you put it down like that, you know, it does kind of add to it, but not as much as I kind of really want for it. We're looking at the accessories. Here is the spiral saber. It's exactly pretty much, the, I'm guessing, exactly the same as the one for Andros that we've seen originally, which doesn't look too bad. Uh, there's not really much detail to it. Then we've also got the Astro Blaster, which is absolutely perfect. It's a normal type one that we'd see. Again, it's pretty much the exactly the same one that we've had from In Space. You get the obviously lightning effect, which I really don't like, but if you wanted to kind of add it with a uh, spiral saber, that's what it would look like on. The blast effect, which is pretty much easy. And then again, you get the two hands, which looks really, really weird. But apparently, you know, it looks okay. Like it, it, to me, it just looks really weird. And then there we go. So yeah, those are all the accessories that you get with them. And there is Andros. To me, this is a very basic figure. I don't think there's really much you could have added to it. And it just feels to me more of a cash grab than anything with Hasbro. I do kind of feel like this figure could have gone to someone else, like a different Ranger, or we could have had Zane at the same time before he was announced, or he's technically not been announced. But I feel like you could have had this more than anything. And right now, it just feels like, again, this was just a major cash grab for Hasbro because they were like, oh, we need something to go out. I would much rather that they do these sorts of figures way after most of the line is out. I'd rather have like Mystic Force, Overdrive or something like that be made first rather than they go, okay, we've got some spare parts. We can easily make this because it now feels like they will make a figure for like say Ashley, she was in a certain way or you know she's got an evil face because they swap bodies with Astromina, blah, 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 whatever it would be. I feel like Hasbro really need to kind of look at what they're doing properly rather than just releasing figures willy-nilly. Now, I know this is a long time ago one, but to me, I just don't see a purpose in this figure at the moment. I would much rather have this later on uh, down the road rather than having it out now. I feel like it took a spot of another figure. If you like this sort of thing, I mean, he does look cool. I think he looks way better with his normal, like his other head, which I think is fine. But yeah, I'll just show you again. But I do feel like it's just a bit eh on this one. Um, I'm glad I've got him. And again, a big thank you to Lawrence for, for sending this to me. But for now, he is joining the rest of my collection and I can't wait to store him um, until I can obviously put him on display. If I could point out a few good things, I kind of like the fact that the um, his cape or his bathrobe is a material and it's not like a hard plastic, which I think would be a lot harder. So it is kind of nice to see something like Hasbro bring this out. But with that, I'm gonna bring this to a close. What do you think about this figure? Uh, have you got him? Would you get him? What interests you and what do you not like about this figure? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this sort of content, and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.